All right, hey, welcome everybody. In this video, we're gonna look at how you can play Wheel of Fortune in your class. Uh, this can be used pretty much for uh, any subject, it does not have to be Spanish, which is my subject. And I'm also gonna tell you before I even get started here that the documents and pictures and stuff like that that I'm using, I'll make available to you in the description of the video. Um, maybe just drop a like if these helped you out or if you feel like you're gonna use them. What you, I'm gonna show you first is kind of how I made this and then um, show you how we played in class and what worked out best for us. So what I did first was in Google Images, you could also do this with Google Slides if you like that better. I made uh, what I wanted to be my background for my Google Jam board. So basically I just found this Wheel of Fortune looking background online. Um, I made it a little bit smaller than full screen. I'll show you why in a second. I added this text up here at the top for Wheel of Fortune in Spanish. You can edit that once you open this up if you use it. And then I've got some extra space over here on the side, which you'll see why in just a second. So this is my background image. I just went file, download, save as the JPEG, and then I jumped over to my Jamboard. And then I set that as my background, which if you aren't sure how to do that really quick, you just click the set background button, click the bottom right choice, which is image, find that image you just saved on your computer, and then set it as your background so that it can't be moved. So what you see now is this game that is all set up for one of my classes. I already made a sentence with it, but I can put these back if I want to. I just move them onto the board, just like you would like in a regular game of Wheel of Fortune. So what you'll want to do is make come up with your phrase, put these white boxes where you want each letter to show up. And then uh, I got a wheel over here on the left from pickerwheel.com. You can you probably use other websites as well. And what I did was the first time I played, I tried to play it just like Wheel of Fortune, which doesn't work out because one team played the entire time because they never got anything wrong, which is totally possible in Wheel of Fortune. So um, we decided as a class to change it to you get a maximum of two turns. Anyway, so they got two and then the first team will, will they'll make a guess. So let's say they guess R and there's, you know, some R's in here. I'll just put the R's where they fall and multiply their two points times three R's. So they'll get six points uh, for that R. And then after that, they get to either buy a vowel with those points, uh, which I decided cost two, two points to buy a vowel, or they could solve or they could spin again. So they spin again and they go to P. Let's see what they get first. Okay, so they got eight points. Okay. I get eight points and that was their second turn. So now they're done. I'm going to go to the next team who then um, will we'll probably have to spin if it's the first time. And um, then after they spin, if they want to guess, they can guess it or buy a vowel. They could do that. And the, the game progresses until we're done. Uh, there are a few other things um, on this Jamboard that you want to know about. So the first one is just, uh, I think I already said that you use these white boxes to de designate where the words are. These black ones you can use to cover up the letters they've called out that are not in there so that it doesn't happen twice. So if they guessed an, an S and there weren't any S's, then I'll just put this little black box over it so no one guesses it again. Uh, and I can do that for all of you know, the letters. Also, the uh, let's see, when the vowels are all done, um, like let's say there's only an A, E, and an I in the puzzle and there aren't any O's in use, I'll just cover those up as well, just like I would happen in regular Wheel of Fortune when they say in the puzzle, you know, there aren't any more vowels left in the puzzle. And then the last thing I wanted to say is that, because I have students who are both in class and online right now. So I'm in the Google Meet and I went to my Google Meet and I'm sharing my entire screen. Uh, the reason you're doing that is so that you can have both the Jamboard open and the wheel at the same time. So you can see behind me that that's, this is what the kids see in, in class and at home. They see the wheel um, over here and then they see the game board over here so that everybody can see at home or, or in class. And then I just kind of split them up into groups that were kind of near each other so that what, because we can't be moving around right now uh, with COVID and everything. I think that's everything I wanted to give you. These, oh, down here at the bottom where it says category in Spanish, that's editable. So if um, you're, you know, you're not Spanish teacher or whatever, you can change that to English or French or what have you. And I think that's everything. Um, I also added up here, um, comma. There are other, you know, exclamation, question marks. Um, there's also this little bot guy right here is supposed to be a, a, uh, an accent mark. Um, so if I had a Where's the turn? I lost it. Okay, anyway, I could, if there was an accent mark on a vowel, I could just drop that right here. Uh, if you're 
French teacher and you want to change the direction, you could do that as well. It doesn't look super pretty, but you can do it. Okay, uh, again, check the description of the video for the various uh, pictures, Jamboard links and stuff like that, as well as a playlist that I've made for all my other Jamboard videos. If you have questions, let me know. If you play this in class, let me know if the kids like it. My students in first period said so they enjoyed it, so we'll definitely be trying it again. All right, thanks for stopping by. Subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Hasta luego.